Good morning, everyone, and Ran, thanks for that introduction. Um, it gives me a great pleasure to share from an MTN business perspective, um, what are the assets that we have as a telco? Uh, what are the connectivity elements that we are bringing to bear that actually is a key enabler for uh, smart agriculture, for, uh, smart farming? Um, so from the bedrock of IoT operations for smart farms, as MTN business, uh, you know, we enable and inspire the growth of our clients with the mission of becoming the leading information and communication technology partner of choice. What does that mean? At the heart of everything that we do as MTN, we believe that everyone deserves the benefits of the modern connected life. And that is very true in this uh, topic, in this uh, webinar that we're having today of agriculture. From an MTN perspective, uh, you know, we had a great evolution. As a telco, in the B2B environment, we come from a very strong mobile background, and our ambition is to move up the stack into ICT. So what does that mean today in uh, today's context of agriculture, in today's context of farming, uh, the industry vertical area that we are looking at? We believe that in regards to the whole ecosystem, as you can see on this slide from left to right, as MTN business, we come from a very strong mobile environment. So end of the day, you know, basic connectivity, talking to each other is very, very important. That's the core mobile we come from. If we move up the stack, you know, we have got a lot of assets, a lot of solutions around basic things like reverse bill URL, bulk SMS, which is a very important um, element if you have to connect in that ecosystem. And then from there, we are looking at the ICT stack of fixed connectivity you know, where there are different mediums, different modes, and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about the 5G, uh, the 4G, the private environment that is basically, we believe, a very true enabler to the IoT environment. Earlier, Kulu spoke about, in the IoT space, the platform, and I'll touch on the MTN connected things, the MCT platform that we talk about, that we bring to bear, which brings all the different elements not just on the connectivity, but above the stack together. What we are seeing more and more, the trends in the, in the agriculture space, also then talks about tapping into the compute layer. So it's very important to look at the, uh, the, the, the edge computing, look at the data centers, look at the different on-premise solutions, but more importantly, commercial viable solutions that is relevant to make, uh, to enable this environment. Security is embedded in everything we do. I mean, we don't want any agricultural solution to be held ransom for some security breach, cybersecurity, which is very important. But if you look at our evolution on the right-hand side of the slide, what we are also realizing more and more, end of the day, having the infrastructure is one thing, but the use cases in the IoT through connectivity, for example, drone as a service, the robotics, becomes very, very important. The customer experience solution and more importantly, the data monetization, the big data and the artificial intelligence, it's all about the, whether we are able to reap the data back into the environment. And then definitely the smart vertical solutions uh, in this case for the smart agri that we're talking about. So this story is actually the story of uh, MT and enterprise business where we are coming from the core mobile and we are moving all the way up to the vertical solutions. And what we are also very uh, cognizant about that some of the solutions has to be very relevant to the segments. So at MT and enterprise, we take a segment-led approach. What we mean by that is we have tailor-made solutions for what we call the large enterprise. Uh, agriculture is quite big. Kulu mentioned about the ecosystem. There are tailor-made solutions for uh, you know, public enterprises. And more importantly, there are solutions uh, that we take into the market for the small and medium enterprises. And all of this uh, in the evolution of MTN business that we believe is relevant for the agricultural space, our core telco assets, the modernization, the investment that we're putting into our, our core mobile network, including the 5G assets, become uh, quite a relevant play. So if we move to uh, uh, the, 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 the next slide, where we are talking about uh, you know, the, the next generation of connectivity, and, and, and I'll spend a few minutes on this particular slide. When we talk about connectivity and connectivity in the agricultural space, um, you know, in the farms, there are different use cases that we are talking about. So 
one of the ways of looking at it is, you know, there are certain use cases uh, that might be very, very mission critical. I mean, depending on the IoT platforms that we're bringing in. And that requires a very different sort of uh, connectivity, you know, where less than one milliseconds of the connectivity, the latency, uh, the throughput becomes very, very important. And this is where, you know, if we are talking about autonomous vehicles in the space of agriculture, if we are talking about remote control and process automations, if you look at some of uh, the use cases in agriculture, um, you know, that we are finding uh, north of Africa, you know, there are a lot of use cases that talk about process automation. And then if you talk about the critical infrastructure protection and control, you know, there are different mission critical controls that is required, which needs very uh, different uh, connectivity. If you look at the massive internet of things, where we have got a great scale, if you talk about a farm, if you talk about, um, you know, uh, cattle farming, if you talk about, uh, as Kulu mentioned earlier, about, you know, certain predictive analytics that needs to go in, you know, the massive internet of things that need scale has got a very different connectivity requirement. And similarly, if you look at the enhanced mobile broadband or if you look at uh, you know, the subscriber Q, uh, you know, QOE, uh, the resilience that we need in a network uh, in a nine by five environment has very different things. And I think from an MTN South Africa perspective, the investment that we have made in our network, um, you know, even in, uh, you know, today's, uh, you know, climatic conditions with uh, the power issues that we face as a country, the vandalism that we face in the country, as MTN, we continue to invest in that particular network. And there are different uh, technologies in that network that becomes very relevant. So here we are depicting 5G, but 5G is not just a solution, you know. If you look at our coverage as MTN from a 2G, from a 3G, uh, from a 4G, I think that has got quite a big relevance when it comes to connectivity. When we talk about agriculture and when we talk about the IoT, you know, the device and the compatibility of the device with connect connectivity is another very critical element. And that's where there are different technologies, whether we're talking about, uh, you know, the LoRa technology, whether we're talking about the Sigfox technology, you know, that is also very relevant. So it's not just about you know, the, the, the 2G to the 5G stack, it's not just about the NBIOT, you know, uh, that we're rolling out on the back of the Project Monza that we executed in the country for the last few years, but it's also about embracing the other technologies in the IoT, the compatibility of the device, and that is where uh, you know, we do work in an ecosystem. It's not just the core MTN assets, but the other assets that we are available in the country that would be very relevant as a connectivity, you know, that will be truly enabling uh, this particular uh, space. So the rise of digital economy in the agricultural space, we're talking about the industry vertical, um, uh, you know, environment. I think it's what's very important is you know, the, 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 the digital enterprise, as we talk about, especially the post-COVID, as we know, the trends have changed. You know, the utilization of connectivity or IoT has completely changed. And I think uh, there is no doubt in the agricultural space, in the connected farms, the digital-first approach becomes very, very relevant. And I think what then really underpins the digital uh, you know, uh, first approach is the, the, the business resiliency, which then comes on the back of the connectivity as I've just spoken. But also what's very important is the business model, the commercials, the TCO, and, and that then brings together with the technology, the agility, scalability, and the on-demand in all the different verticals but there are also the interconnect of the verticals, the interconnect of the, the ecosystem that makes it very important to kind of look into it. Um, from a, um, you know, the, the connectivity side of things, this also talks about the small and the, and the home office, what we call the SOHO, and bringing all of that together, together with the I IoT solution, specifically, you know, to the, to the different mediums, to the different options, and then bundling that together with the ecosystem of productivity, whether it is Microsoft Teams, uh, Gmail Suite, the collaboration, the application, and that is the ecosystem that, uh, you know, we kind of talk about. So, in closing, I just want to leave you with one thing. From an MTN perspective, um, you know, we do have the as I said, what we call the modern connected things. And as part of the modern connected things, the platform that we are bringing to bear that is connecting the, 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 different, um, uh, the different environment that we have, you know, 
then working with the API layer, the application layer, working with the different hyperscalers, working with the niche industry vertical solution players uh, that are participating today, bringing that all together, you know, connecting with our MCT platform and looking at the big data, looking at the, uh, you know, monetization of the data to be relevant in all the different use cases is the, is the key enabler uh, that as MTN business we bring to bear. Uh, earlier, Kulu mentioned about the co-creation, and I just want to leave you with, you know, I think we are finding that's the best approach where we can look at a particular use case, we can define what the success criteria of the use case is, we can do a proof of concept, and once we are able to do the proof of concepts through this partner ecosystem, through the platform, then, uh, you know, together we can commercialize it and looking at to get the scale. Uh, to get the benefits of Internet of Things, to get the benefits of connectivity uh, in the agricultural space. I wish all of you uh, to have the rest of a, a session, uh, you know, very, uh, you know, informative. Hope you benefit from all the different presenters that will be there. Uh, from my side, a big thank you.